No one knows me like the pool Space is shown You can try to show me something else But I say no And if you're subscribed or oh, you arrive Hope you never go No one knows me like the pool Space show What's up, Shane? What up, what up? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? How you doing, Playboy? I'm, I'm doing okay now. Doing okay. Now? Yeah, yeah. But hold on. Oh, let me, what? Let me, let me just let, people, let the people know. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Oh, you're getting right to it. Yeah, let me, just <laughs> get, that out, let me yeah. get that out the way. Blue yeah. Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients. as. I sent that off, too and Cialis, but in chewable <laughs> tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The best part, everything is done online. All you have to do is go to bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. Okay, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at a pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA. Made in the USA. Blue Chew is made in the USA. And they prepare and ship it direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. We got a special deal for our listeners. You try Blue Chew for free using our promo code KING. That's $5 shipping. So you have to pay at bluechew.com, promo code KING, K-I-N-G. Get your first month free. Bluechew.com. Go to bluechew.com for more safety information and details. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Chew. And thank you, audience. You know, they, they people buying Blue Chew. You say you're under the weather. I'm going to tell you how my weekend went. Oh, my God. I mean, you, I, wasn't, I didn't want you to tell the audience I was on the weather. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I feel, I feel no like but you, okay. you fine. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, so Friday, I go to work. I go mm-hmm. to work or whatever. And I'm supposed to do math show later that day. Okay. So When, did, when was this? Let's just, huh? When was this? Friday. Friday, got you. Friday. You know, I like to know all the details. Yeah, yeah. So I'm supposed right. to do math show. So... I'm just playing. So I get home. I, I, I get home and I feel a little tired. You know what I'm saying? So I take yeah. a lay down. You know, to get a little nap. Yeah. Right, and I wake up and then I, I get myself together, but I, I still feel like congested. Like my 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 oh. nose and my my nose is congested, so I'm like blowing shit out, or whatever. But it's not, and I can't deal with. It, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a cold. I get to the shit. No, it's like COVID. <laughs> Relax. I get to the shit. I get to the shit. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I feel bad. Like, I, I don't even want to be here. Whatever, whatever. Right? Yeah. Like, I keep my distance from everybody. Yeah. Why Why are you keeping your distance from everybody? Just to, just to be safe. Yeah. Safe from what? Safe from what? Just to be safe from whatever is going on. No, not just whatever. Not whatever. From COVID. Okay. Yeah. Why are you, why you scared to say it? You I can't even exist. Wow. I keep my distance from everyone. Right, we do the shit. You know, we was there for like an hour. You had yeah. your mask on. Yes, he's there for like an hour. Then I, then I, then I leave. I come back home. Right, I go to sleep. I wake up. I feel a little better. I feel a little better. No, I'm not congested as much anymore. Okay, but I'm okay. Right, I don't do shit that day. I just like put put the videos on my computer. I just take the day to rest. Okay, and then a Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Got you. Okay. I do some work. I do some work on other episodes we did, and I and all that shit. 
I still I start feeling a little dizzy. Right. Oh my god. And then I'm like, why the fuck I feel dizzy? So I, maybe I didn't eat. I didn't, so let me eat something. Let me do it. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel a little better. I go. I go to sleep. In the middle of the night, I wake up. I feel dehydrated as shit. Mm-hmm. Now it's like I'm thirsty. Like I'm drinking mad waters. All this shit. Right. I drink some water. I go oh, no, go back I to can't. sleep. Listen. Yeah. I wake up. Okay. Go take a piss. As I'm going to take a piss, I feel my head like lightheaded. So I come back in my bed, I lay down, I pass out. Like what? Pass out. Yeah, I pass out. When I come to, like, I pass this like two seconds. I call my father right away. I'm like, yo, take me to the hospital. Let me make sure everything is good. Go to the hospital this morning, three o'clock this morning. I test positive, bro. What? I got it. Oh. So they, so now I'm quarantined until like the twenty first. I'm still getting paid, which is cool. I got all. Of course, these, you have to get paid from your job. All these vitamins and shit, but my they did a chest X ray. My chest is good. I don't have any problems on that side. I don't have any breathing problems. But, but you did have a little. Be- no, that's right. You didn't have the breathing problem. Not you had had congestion. Nasal, like got nasal. you, got you. So they gave me nasal spray. They gave me zinc and vitamin C. And you got to take all that so it don't progress. Yeah, it's once a, once a day though. So it's it's like you know then they do, drink a lot of fluids. So how do you feel? I never talked to somebody with COVID. <laughs> I, I never did. No, I mean, when, I don't know if the people knew they had. I, it. I feel way better than I felt this this morning. That's okay. for sure, hundred okay. percent. Right. When I got to the hospital, I had a fever. Mm-hmm. I had a fever, so they gave me some Tylenol and shit. And then they, you know, I don't take drugs like that. I don't because do let me tell they, you something. Because they, they, I, I, I that shit, I, my fever went down dramatically. Like everything is cool. Yeah, because I, 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 I do a lot of research on COVID, mm-hmm. you know, that's why I was able to, I didn't just take this. I mean, I joke around, take the shot because the white man told me to. I mean, I would anyway if he told me to, but the, uh, I did research. The, 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 um, excuse me, if you get COVID, mm-hmm. it all depends on how much virus you consumed. Hmm. Like you know, like if I get the flu, I don't know where I got it from. That's, that's but I'm just saying, if you get the regular flu, then you get sick. It's not a oh, I got sicker than somebody else because I had the flu. The COVID, it it <clears throat> it, it, it it depends on um the load of virus. So maybe hopefully you got a small load. You understand? Like a small dose of COVID. Because yeah. you 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 said you feel better than you did this way, morning. Oh, way better. Way like okay. So this hopefully, morning, like, simple, this morning, like I was going to like, like I felt like it was coming in waves. Like I was like, Yo, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. Out. that's what I heard that it but happened. Then once they put me on the IV and then they gave me that shit, like what they put your IV? Out. Yeah, because they, because I was I was dehydrated. I felt dehydrated for real. Mm-hmm. Serious. So they put like oh, little, I you know, know I know they put me on the IV not with just like water but like. You know minerals and stuff like that. Yo, I pay attention to everything they, they did in there. So they put it, they put like a Motrin in the IV. With, why why'd you, know, you pay attention? Because I gotta know what niggas is putting in my body. Oh, shit. meanwhile, God put COVID in your body. <laughs> yeah, I get that, but like you gotta make sure people like because they had the African nigga in here, he's putting in some big ass machine. I'm like, what the fuck oh, is yeah, that? I've seen the African, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm like, what I'm like, what is this for? Like, I have yeah, to ask yeah, questions. Yeah, what is absolutely, this? For? Absolutely, this is a chest x ray. I was like, okay, absolutely. cool, let's let's do it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I gotta absolutely. ask questions. I'm he not gonna bought a he might have bought some type of voodoo doll in there, but you know, but listen, listen, let me ask you something. Then I had the no, what pissed me off, I had to piss. Right, this is towards the end. They getting ready to release me in the hospital. Yeah, I had yeah. the fucking piss. I got the IV. I was like, I got a fucking piss. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, you can't, you can't go to the bathroom. Of course not. You have like, oh, give me a pen or something. Like, give me something. I have to fucking pee, man. Yeah, but but you, you don't can't just leave me in there with nobody. So then you guys to bring out this pan and shit. And he yeah. got an attitude. Like, nigga, you got an attitude. You are supposed to have that shit in here. You you know you know you know what's funny about what you're saying. I was listening to some program this morning named Joe Madison. And they, and they, a guy called up, a guy called up, no, a lady called up. And she said that it's funny how people refuse to take the vaccine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
but they don't mind calling the hospital if they get sick. So when you get to the hospital, you taking up no seriously, you taking up beds that some or not beds because you know well, that hospital bad was off. empty. I get it. I get it. It didn't have to. I know be what empty. they say. Like, oh, it's crowded. That hospital, my, I'm in the oh, white people. Neighborhood. That hospital was empty, man. There he go. There he go. Back to being cocky. No, let but me I'm tell not, you something. But after the, after today, like, I'm not against the vaccine. Oh, Lord. I'm thank God good. God is good. My mother it? was so pissed. God is like, good. Like, I told you, get the vax. Then yep. my mom was pissed. So if I don't do it, and and then my baby mother, she sent me a thing in California. You cannot. Your baby mother. No, but listen, no, but my daughter. baby, my baby mother don't even want to take the the vaccine. Oh, but this, but this is, but she sent me. A no wonder you were attracted. Listen, to Listen, she she sent me a thing that in California you can't even like pretty soon you can't even go in the laboring rooms without having the vax. So it's like I have to consider it now. Like I cannot. I have no other option. I tell people. I tell people my wife got it. Thank God she got the <laughs> shot. She was the holdout, boy. But listen, I tell people, don't look at it like the government is trying to do. Look at it like looked at it. I never looked no, at no, it. No, no, I'm saying not you, but people look at it like they're trying to track us and all knowing that you ain't nobody worth tracking. I never looked but, at it. But man. but 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 aside from that, just remember, just say to yourself, I can't. Drive my car. Listen mm -hmm. to this scenario. I can't drive my car without a license, right? Yeah. That's a fact, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So look at it like that. I can't go here without the vaccine. And then, and then you because I understand that shit. That motherfuckers try to do all kind of shit to us. You don't even know what they do. It's not to even. Us. It's not even that shit. That's not even my gripe. Like I know what was your great then? What was your because I know a woman who has heart problems, right? Yeah. She has heart problems and she's going through <laughs> surgery and all this stuff mm -hmm. for her heart. Mm -hmm. And they got her on all these type of pills and this and this and mm -hmm. that just to stabilize her heart and keep it a certain way. Yeah. They haven't tested any of those things in conjunction to the vaccine. They so she's she's them. she's sweary on even taking it. And if she feels like she's being forced to take it now because she can't do shit without having a vaccine, having the vaccine. Got you. So what is but she dilemma? doesn't. So it's like, do I risk death? Because these people haven't tested my medication with the vaccine. Well, nobody's going to do all of that, lady. Like, nobody's going to do all of that. They say it's safe. They didn't say if you are on this and if you're on that, it's not safe. They're not going there. Yes. You have to take chances in life. Shampoo. And trust me, getting a cold. Some chances is better to wait for. There you go. See, like she's not against it, but she's like, I ain't doing it now. That's why, that's why not you. And what I'm going to say is going to sound disrespectful, but I'm not. That's why some people that get COVID need to get it more severely. <laughs> like, I'm going to break you, you down, it. nigga. Oh. You know, thank God you didn't, because I need you. I need you. We need you. It was hard though. I, I, it's no joke. It's no joke. I could tell before we it's went no on joke. something it's was no wrong. It's no. It's no fucking joke. Well, talking yo, to you, you got a taste you about it. it, but talking to you about it makes me feel better. And like, oh, just, ain't that something? But it just—it's really no joke. Shit. It was really no and joke. and and people really think seriously, and you do too. People think that I was I wasn't sent here. People really think that. Shit, you wasn't. Stop it. I'm telling you. you well, look what you just said. You want to take it back? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, but seriously, thank God you got a mild episode of it. Hopefully. Because I've seen people. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take the, the, the vitamins. You? I'm going to keep you? taking the vitamins too because it's good. It's good shit. It's not like vitamin C. I bit, was taking vitamin C. But you know what, Shampoo? Also what it is, how I know I caught it. I've been non-fucking-stop. Since the fucking since before the live show, mm, yeah, you always what man. Listen, I have been non fucking like this is God telling me like sit the fuck down. You know I talk to you, not you. No, oh, I didn't know because I was in Cali checking doing the sex of my baby before I did the live show. 
Then I did the live show. Then after the live show, oh, that's I, when I told you to sit. You know down. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I went to fucking Florida. Then I went to fucking, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then I came back here. Then I did the locks dip set. Then I like it was, you was so going to much Florida, shit going on. But when you was going to Florida, didn't I tell you to sit down, relax? I didn't do nothing in Florida, really. I, I, I think I re- yeah, but I remember telling you to relax or something, sit down. I can't remember. I tell so many people. Mm. I went to Florida because my mom just moved. <laughs> okay. so I was helping her out, and then I, I fucking went to the beach. That's where beach. you caught it. No, no. You caught it in Florida. Florida is the number one capital of COVID. That was way before. That was like three it weeks ago. It sits there. It sits there. It sits oh, there. No it does. It does not, Shampoo. I know COVID. I'm I know my here. body. I know my body. I know I, Friday is when it happened. I know because I felt it. So where did you get it. it caught? Did you tell math and them to get tested? Yes. You did? I did, yes. Yo, you, you see, see, man, let me tell you something, man. Not seriously. I'm not joking. I because have to tell them. Don't look at me. Don't look at me when I'm talking. Because <laughs> seriously, people think I'm not serious. You are a very, very considerate person for that. Seriously, I thought you were going to say nah, Why would I, I not tell them? I don't know. People do that because they, they don't want to be embarrassed. The, the, I text them first, then I text oh, my man, job. You're best man, you the best man. You you seriously? <laughs> I I'm have to. You? No, yeah. not not just because I work with them. Those are my friends too. Like I have to let them know. And they got kids. Are they more friends? Am I more friend than you? Than them? What? Oh no. Jay, but we don't <laughs> hang out. Oh no! <laughs> but I the fuck nigga. with you. You my man, man. forever. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> forever, shit. Forever. Oh, forever. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought that I was more. I thought I was not your best friend because you got good. Friend. Come on. We don't hang out, but that don't mean nothing. Now. You're oh, yeah, in my like mind. You're in my. No, oh, you're in my mind. You don't think that's all? <laughs> you're in that van when you're in my behind. You know that record. Just, yeah, no, what no, no, no. That? That's know from Rob, Rob Stewart. Oh, okay. You're in my soul when I get old. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, that's a great record. But thank God, no, seriously, I knew I saw your face. I yeah, knew man. something was. I thought you were talking about me. the baby. It, like it really. How's hit the baby? Me How's the baby? So far, so good. Yeah, good. 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 Because you can't take too much bad news. I know you. Yo, you don't have no idea, man. You talking about best friends, like my best friend's mother. I don't even want to talk about Who's that. your best friend? I got two best friends. My man, Cram, the one you met at um, Yeah, oh, at the man, live nice. Show. Yo, yo. That's the dude that walked me to the car? Yeah, yeah, that's-, that's Man, that that's motherfucker I know fuck him somebody was, up. Me and him been together since a baby, like kids. Yo, he got a fly-ass BM truck, too. Yeah, New he shit. Got, he got two daughters. He got money? He got two daughters, yeah. Where yo, you he, yo, he had a good BM truck. I'm sure got money like that, money, money. But yeah, but he's doing mean, his work, thing. He's working, man. He do his thing. Good, good, good. I don't man. keep no slobs around me. You, hey, man, listen, <laughs> I'm here to compliment you, brother. If you I don't keep no around, slobs around, that's cool. My other best friend is he lives in Florida. He lives in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Good to hear. Good to hear. He got a condo, Fort Lauderdale balcony, nice. He showed me his shit when I went over there. He's got a fuck. He I'm got trying a to think interest. Of- he I'm trying to think of a friend. I'm trying to think of a friend that I got that I can brag about. <laughs> like, yeah, my, my, like, my, my best friend got a condo in Fort Lauderdale, and I and I went to his house. That's my best friend doing. Good Listen, job. I went to his house, and he he just he was showing me around his house. He was like, "Oh, yo, this is you know what I'm saying." Like showing me his shit. He showed me his bedroom. Then is he, he showed me. Nah. Then he showed me he got a door in his closet that leads outside of the condo. Ooh, nice. Nice. I never saw that before. Like you got the front door that takes you to the living room, like yeah. the door that everybody go through. Yeah. Then you got a, a closet, like a walk-in closet, and there's a door there where you could just leave. Wow. That's some secret shit. That I'm like, what kind of kind shit. of secretive shit you do? And it kind of makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? You could come in, you don't have to come out the same way. You could come out somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I wonder why they, I never saw that on the paper I never, before. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, why they have that? Why it's there? <laughs> why is it there? Like, who who made that design? Yeah, I asked who, him if it was. Who I asked would want that design? Huh? I asked him if it was custom. Yeah, yeah. Sounds kind of creepy in a way. It, that's it does. That's what I'm trying to tell. You. 
What the <laughs> fuck? You sneaking bitches through your house? I be watching Forensic Files. You ever seen that? Yeah. I am so addicted to that show that it's it's like uh, fentanyl. Oh! We got so speak, much shit to get to. Spe- I know. Speaking of, we'll never get to it. Speaking <laughs> of fentanyl, right? Speaking yeah. of fentanyl, people are saying that, and you know, I said it first, why was Freaky Zeke trying to go back to the, going back to the verses for a second? I said, mm. why is he doing all that on stage? It just, it didn't, it looked out of place and people, you Some know, people not, not no part good. of the four. So we was talking about the verses on, uh, oh, oh that's, right, that's right, that's right. On the third lane, we were talking about verses with the Prem. That's why you have to uh, uh, join the force. Yeah, so if you're not a part of the force, you probably didn't hear it. We this is only one two on the down. force. I take out more of them. <laughs> <laughs> this whole shit is gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, if y'all can only know, you can only see the real oh, motherfucking me. <laughs> but yo, but but anyway, I want to really apologize to someone that not necessarily, I mean, his successes. Come on, I'm even gonna go into that part. But I just, I don't know, I never got it. Nas King Disease 2 is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Shout out to Hit Boy. I said, who produced this shit? Some guy named Hit Boy. Hit Boy, some guy. He he produced the whole album. Yeah, he did the last one. Yo! But what, yo, and the last one was hot too. The last yeah, album was yeah, hot. But did he do the one before that? No. See? <laughs> you see? I didn't know, but I knew. Kanye did the one before that. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> oh, speaking of Kanye. Oh, God. You're going to jump from Nas? Can you go All back right, let Nas? me just say Fish something Nas. about Nas. Let me give Nas his props. First of all, the color. Of the, of the, I want to say album cover, but it sounds so old. Yeah. The the artwork yes. is so fucking Shout out sick. to Ravy. That's Ravy. She's fire, bro. I know, I hear people saying it's just orange. No, it's not. No, no, no. That's Ravy. She's, she does, she does, like, she did big, she did, like, Big Sean's, like, photo shoots and shit like that. Like, she... Yeah. She does coloring. It's like a um. Like, she's amazing. It is. It actually is orange, but it has a radiance that. Yeah, yeah. That, it's a vibrancy. Like, it's a vibrancy. Yo, you noticed it too? I oh, know. You know. I know her work. That's I know what the, she does. Yo, she, she does that. Like she I, takes yo. pictures of Jay Z. Like the pictures of Jay Z. Remember when he had the 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 uh, what's that shit? When he when he won the shit. For, with with um uh, with Ace of Spades. And he had the ace of spade in his hand, and the pictures look crazy. When he, he won dope. it, she did when he like when he like sold it for like oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't yeah, remember like she the did picture, those pictures. She did a whole bunch of oh, pictures. Oh, I didn't know. See Jay Z, Nas, like Big Sean. Because you know, Nas is the type of guy that uh let somebody that he grew up with do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He one of them guys that'll throw people charity shit. But yo, that shit yeah. right there, that's the first thing. First thing. The second thing is the music. I mean, yo, and I, I'm not a Nas fan, mm-hmm. and this album didn't make me one. But I'll tell you one thing. It didn't. It didn't make me because he's going to do Next time he's going to go back, he's going to be like, man, that shit was too good. Yo, let me, let me, let me, let me dumb it down. Yo, this album, King Disease 2, is phenomenal. I recommend it. it it's not a dud on there. It's just it's just phenomenal. And um and thank you for that piece of work, Nas. That was fire. Yeah. Was fire. And listen, and listen, and you're gonna hear Eminem, you're gonna hear Lauren Hill, but but just don't think that you know what I'm saying, don't be like I didn't like Lauren Hill's verse. I mean, yeah. Didn't like it. That shit why do people why did people big it up so much? It, like she hadn't like because they bars, feel but... sorry for her. they feel sorry for her. When you get into this business, I've been in this business a long time. Music and listen, when you know they always do like this, I've been in this business. <laughs> and, 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 and but when you when you in this business or any type of business where you in front of the microphone camera, when you when your popularity wanes, 
You know what Wayne's mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's Wayne's first name? The what? Um, Damon. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I forgot you went to college. But listen, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Um, yo, when your popularity wanes, it's devastating. And and what you do as a mistake, this is a mistake. You try to go back to what made you popular in the first place. Did that make any sense? It's natural, though. It's yeah. natural to go back to where you lost, you know, where you had it. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, um, I'm not gonna. Go I don't know what you're switch. talking about. <laughs> all right. Listen, listen. All right, all right. Just, uh, it's natural to go back. Why? What are you because, saying? Because listen. All right, all right. Explain. If, okay. If I had success, okay, with with these uh, uh, red Beats headphones the, in red, yeah. right? Yes. And people say, yes. "Man, I can't stop watching that show because of the red headphones he wears." Right? You know that yeah. sounds dumb, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 stranger things have happened. Now, I'm I'm gonna still wear them because people said said that. Mm -hmm. After a while, they're gonna say, "Fuck them red headphones." I'm sick of looking at this nigga, right? So then my popularity will wane. So when it wanes, five, ten years, five. How long Lauren Hill been gone? Not gone, but I'm saying from the charts. How long? Ten years. Who knows? She was huge. She was. She was amazing. Yeah, but I'm saying that was, what, 10, 15 years ago? I, was I don't a know. Kid. Anyway, was long a time ago. I was a kid. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. So, <laughs> shit, I was young. Yo, but but listen. So, so, whatever she did when she was popular, and mm -hmm. she was very popular, very nice looking girl, the whole, you know, the whole image. What they do is try to reach back for that, what made what they think made them famous, and sometimes it don't work. I mean, I went through a long uh, explanation. I know what I'm talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, <laughs> I, I, it, Nas album is sick, and, and EPMD. I didn't hear them on the track. Did you? Yeah, they were there. I mean, I listened to the whole before thing. Eminem. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. And that was a gamble. Putting yeah. EPMD yeah. on there? Not really. EPMD is oh, great. Shit. Shit. Nigga never know. <laughs> they going, hey, Shampoo, we want to put you, uh, a couple of people. They were huge back in the day. Who? Listen, don't worry about who for a second. Let me just tell you what they work. They blah, blah, blah. I'll be sitting right just on the wall. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Listen, what have they done lately? You ever heard of John and Josh? Yeah. What have they done for me lately? Mm -hmm. No, th listen, they've been they were so big, they just been resting. They they woke up and they won't be on the album. Who's this? EPMD. <laughs> no, I don't think it went that way. <laughs> it did not go that way. No, I know the guy. Listen, listen, listen. No, seriously. I know you're gonna think I'm bullshit. You don't know no guy. I knew the guy that pitched EPMD to Nas. No, you. All right, I'm done, man. I'm done. And Nas said, Nas said, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Nas, good. Nas said, what have they done for me? Let you got to stop. I got COVID, man. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> oh, man. You drink a lot of water. <laughs> And don't let that bottle lay around for somebody else to sip it. Ain't nobody coming in this house. Man. I'm quarantined, bro. Yo! My nigga got... Don't you feel proud in a way? No. That you got it? Like, yo. No. I, 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 if, if, if three days, if I feel like myself or 100%, right now I feel like 75. Damn, that's kind of low. Yeah. So you feel a little, you still feel a little congested or something. I think you're gonna say not 90. congested. I'm, I'm just saying, like, like you don't feel yourself. No, like energy wise, like I'm like yeah, yeah, zap your energy, zap your energy. That's on the flu, though. So I just got to rest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I always thought, and and you don't you don't seem to be doing it, what? but and that's a testament to you. But I always thought when you get it, if you get it, 
Mm-hmm. Your thought of having it will make the symptoms worse. You understand? Do I make any sense? I think that with everything. Oh, because I always think it. I, I think, think that always think with it fucking everything. Yeah, and that's why the pregnancy is driving me insane. I, I can imagine because she is thinking. She tells in the, the books just tell you about all the fucking problems. And I don't want to oh. even think about that. Oh, so she's pregnant. So she's saying, I'm not going to take the, she wasn't going to take the vaccine anyway, but she really not going to take it. Not now even that. Like, she's just, she's just like, I don't even talk about Do you that. know her? No, I'm not going to say, listen, do you know, know how, how do you know? You're not talking about that. Don't worry about no, it. I'm saying, did you know her long? I know her for a while. Yes. She's cool. <laughs> Relax. Oh my God. Um, how you feel about Nick Cannon? Does she does, did she walk with other ladies? Yes. She walked with other ladies? I mean walked with other ladies. What are you talking about walked with other ladies? What are you saying walked with other ladies? I'm saying if there's like okay. If there's <laughs> are you trying to make a trick that doesn't no, work? I don't know what it. you're trying to say. I'm at, I hope somebody understands what I'm saying. Nobody gives a shit. Listen, no, all right, all right, all right. Now, just ask me one question. What does That's she right. walk with a lot of ladies and they what hear is... and they hear horns blowing? No, you fucking okay. crazy. All right, all right. John, what you were saying? A, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, Greg, what you saying? What you saying? Has a well-paying fucking job and work. She's a work. I only deal with working women. I don't know what the fuck you they, people talk about. Not they, like that. They, Bitches who suck dick for money is not oh, my I bag. Did, I didn't say oh, it's not come my on. fucking bag. And I don't do that with nobody. Nigga, I don't, I didn't say that. The fuck out of here with that bullshit. I that's, didn't disrespectful. Say. that's disrespectful to me. It is. I didn't disrespect you. You disrespecting my baby mother. That's disrespectful. I didn't. I, you know damn well I would never disrespect Careful. you. you. Nigga, you Don't know do me. To Don't my do bones. that. Don't do that. All right. All right. Yo, I love it. I didn't disrespect that. Please, because I'm not a disrespectful person, especially the guy people I love, and I love you. So I just, you know. Just trying, trying to make to... a joke. It's not funny. I don't know. <laughs> trying to make a joke. Niggas hate jokes. <laughs> Yo, my God. And I've never seen a person smile that had COVID. I never did. They always be like this, look. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yo, man. You taking your shit. You and and you called the hospital. Oh no, no, I don't I don't play that game. Well, some people don't do it. Some people don't know. You think all the stuff is normal. Thank God you're here. Thank God if you're you here. Pass out. Yeah, There's something obviously wrong. That's how I knew I had rectal cancer. Hey, and I called the pol- I called the hospital and the police, yo, because I had you know some jewelry laying around. But listen, thank God you're here now, Kanye West. Let me ask you a question. This is just something. This ain't really newsworthy, but oh, speaking of COVID, I gotta say it. I have to say it. Rest in peace. I was shocked. I don't want to hear about no deaths. You don't want to hear somebody dying of COVID? No. Nah. I wonder why. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And, and <laughs> that's the last thing you want to hear right now. Don't worry. He had it more. He had it um hey, more severe than you. You know? Oh, I thought about, I thought about, you heard the story? It was the, uh, I think it was a black guy. That don't matter. He was like 33, 34, right? He had COVID. I think it was in um a Workshire, work, Workshire, England. Mm. The, you know, whatever the name is. He was like 33, something like that. And he had COVID. Yeah. Mild symptoms, you know, mild symptoms. Healthy. Yeah. Right, I'm done with you, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I tried to get it. I failed. I failed. But listen. Try, try again, right? Anyway, yo, uh, rest in peace to Chucky Thompson. You know who Chucky Thompson is? The gangster? No, one of the greatest producers. (laughs) One of the greatest. Chucky? Chucky Thompson produced Mary J. Blige's albums, Biggie, Fake I met Chucky. 
He he he, he produced one mic by a now. Wow, Chucky. I met Chucky. I met Chucky when I was like eighteen. Produce Craig Mack flavor in your ear. I met Chucky when I was 18. He was working with Rufus Black. He was time. huge. You know who Rufus Black is? No. Nah. Yeah, I used to I I used to like help out my man and he used to work with Rufus Black. And I'm at, and we was at Chucky's studio. And I'm and I met him over there one time. Yo, man. COVID. That's what they're saying. Let, I mean, that's what the article said. COVID night uh, complications from COVID. So it's not the I don't think it's the thing that kills just the complications from it. You understand? Maybe it might uh uh um you don't want to talk about this shit. But listen, you got an X on your hat too. Why would you wear that hat? That means you oh, X'd man. out. <laughs> don't wear that hat. <laughs> Can you do me a favor, Space Ghost? Take that hat off when you before until we get better, okay? <laughs> but listen, man. Listen now. Let me ask you the million dollar question. Two million dollar question. After a couple more days, you got you got to stay in there for seven days, right? What? You got to be under quarantine for seven days or fourteen? Fourteen days. Yeah, depending oh. on the test. All right, so wait a minute. Mm. What? So the test said you, because some tests say you got quarantine for five days. I don't understand the quarantine shit. The state is telling me 14. The hospital is telling me to just wait until the 21st. I'm going okay. to the hospital. Okay. So I'm just gonna stick with what the hospital said. That's it. That's the right advice. You know, you might got a heavier load than I thought. But listen, listen. Let what, me tell you something. When you when you catch the COVID, you get a. You can tell us. You can tell us because you. Yeah, I can tell it. it. I can tell. I can right. tell because I'm I'm doing it right now. That's it. You get. You go to the hospital. You get it. They tell you a whole bunch of shit. They tell you what to do depending on what, how severe it is, right? Then you get a call from the state. You get a call from the state. They call your phone. Yeah. So New York State called my phone, and they 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 want to make sure everything in my shit is correct. And my address is what it is. That this is what it is. Wow. They want to make sure. There's <laughs> now, no that, now that's that tracking. You. <laughs> that's tracking. No, you. that's hundred percent tracking. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing, but the thing with me is, I'm the state are fucking idiots. Because I'm, I was blacking on them niggas. Yeah, but Spacers, you're not in no condition to be calm. No, just fuck just, them yeah. niggas. Fuck the state. Fuck the government. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck them niggas. The medical professionals are the people that I'm I'm talking to. These people call me, then they try to, t oh, uh, do you have a fever? I was like, I had a fever. I don't have a fever anymore. Mm -hmm. I went to the hospital. Oh, do you have a thermometer? Do you know if you have a fever? Nigga, I just told you I don't have a fever anymore. Mm -hmm. I came back from the hospital. Yeah. They lowered my fever. I no longer have a fever. Yeah, that's why I'm talking shit like I am. But he, he gonna ask me if I have a thermometer right now. How do you know? Like, nigga. Yeah, was because a, it I could come in waves. Of death. Yeah, because it comes in waves. That's I was why on he a, said that. I was on the brink of death, right? Yeah. Not the brink of death. I know, I know. I'm exaggerating. But to you, you. But you. I know what a fever felt like. Yeah. And that shit is gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I understand. but you could have a mild fever too. Well, yeah. Listen, that's what they want to. But listen, let me just say this. Let I took a shower. That, that, that's nice. Let me I'm let good. me just say this. Thank God, right? Uh, let let me just say this. But this it's not just that though, Shampoo. It's other things that they question you about. It's like, yo, bro, if you found my information from the hospital, mm -hmm. you can ask the hospital. You don't need me. Let me let me just tell you like, this. You, I can confirm the the addresses and shit like that, mm -hmm. but you don't need to act like. Why are you let me give you certain shit? It's just like what? Let let are me you give stupid? you let me give you a scenario. There's a store that I go to to get zigzag wraps. Mm -hmm. That's what I smoke my 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 weed in. Zigzag wraps, straight up. That's what's called. Give me a straight. They already know. the The downside of going to that. Store, they got a, a every store, but these is fresh, like they're not they not crunchy. So I always go to this store. The, 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 I'm getting to a um 
what you call it, a comparison to what you're going through, to what you just described. When I go to the store, the problem is niggas be outside and I don't want to go in the store when niggas be outside because, you, you know, I don't trust nobody no more, right? So I won't go there if they're in the front, right? Okay. The reason why I parallel that with what you said was you said these idiots and they want me to ask all these questions and do I got a thermometer? And I understand that shit is like, what the fuck, right? The way you could have asked asking me, they asked well, me, hold on, because they asking me, how high was your temperature when you arrived? I'm like, nigga, when I arrived, they just checked my temperature and told me I have a fever. I don't yeah. give a fuck how high it was. They told mm -hmm. me I had a fever. That's it. Mm -hmm. You go fuck about the number. Yeah. I, but now, even, I wasn't even thinking about the number in that moment. Now, the reason why I brought that analogy, that's the word I was thinking about, analogy up is to avoid the situation of me seeing these dudes, niggas in front of the store is I don't go in the driveway. I don't go in the store. I avoid them, right? Mm -hmm. You could have avoided all of them by taking a shot when I told you to take the shot. If you'd have took the two shots, you wouldn't have been. You would have never it been. You would have never seen them, you idiot. You can't say that. You oh, can't see, say I just that. said it. Didn't you recognize my voice? <laughs> I just that. said it. You don't know the future. I know like, the future, the past, and the present, yeah. and I know one guy. But you're telling thing. niggas to to not say "see you later." Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> some arrogant shit. See them all. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> not, what, not, what I, not what I think, motherfucker. <laughs> but seriously, you could have you could have cut down on now. Let me let me just say this because just I, I know the future. When you when, not if, yeah. when you come out of this COVID and you back to normal, you're gonna walk around like some of these idiots. Let's say I have the antibodies. I no, don't need no, no shot. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Take what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna take it right away. Oh, you Fuck. gotta give me some time. You can't just. I can't. You gotta give me some time. Time for what to do research? I just I went through fucking COVID. Shampoo. So you don't want to go through it again, do you? Shampoo, yes, but that don't mean stick COVID back in my body right when I'm done with it. I know. I, I did you? Did, I sent it to you. Did you see the story of the guy that had mild symptoms? He got rid of it, and then he said that I'm not going to get a shot right away. And then he got COVID again. <laughs> you just make up people. Like, <laughs> who are these people? <laughs> oh, my God. I said, I sent it to you. Like, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, You're crazy. Oh my God, yo! I nigga can we talk about, can we talk about this? Me. You wanted to talk about this last week. I mean, yo, a nigga, oh, nigga owed me seven dollars. I swear to God, and I was just bullshit when I said, "Yo, gave my seven dollars." He said, "You don't remember when I gave it to you?" <laughs> yo, I said, "I right, fuck it, man." Now, what'd you say? <laughs> oh, you wanted to talk about something last week. That we didn't get oh, to. Oh God, I can't think. Oh, Dr. Dre's daughter. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get to that shit. Let me get to that shit. But yo, it was it's an old white lady that lived next door to me, right? Okay. And when I came out today, I came out today, and she's like a a, a, a Martha Stewart, like always in the garden, and you know, wipe you out, right? Old white ladies, and um. And um, my wife made a good joke with, about her like 12 years ago, long time ago. And I said, yo, uh, I ain't going to say her. I was starting to do. My mama said, yo, uh, Donna's in the in the garden again and shit. And I said, yeah, she, she, she thinks she's Martha Stewart. And my wife said, she's far from Stewart. <laughs> hey, I thought it was funny. But anyway, she was, she was, she was old then. So imagine now, right? So she was bending down, picking her weeds up. Mm -hmm. She was bending down, picking her weeds up. And when I came outside, she said, I said, I said, I said hey, God, I'm going to say her name. Hey, Donna. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, Lawrence, you caught me in my, in my bending down, picking up the weeds, weeds position. 
You should have saw her ass. That almost made me vomit. And she said some shit like that. You know what I said? I said, I can't wait till there's snow on the ground. So I will never have to see your ass like that. She go, why would you say some shit like that? And she had on them shorts that got the elastic, you know, the elastic Spandex. shorts. <laughs> what they call them? Spandex. <laughs> oh, no, no, they no. made out of apron material. Apron? Like, like that. it's like a... Uh, Khakis? <laughs> it's a type of material. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and if you open the bed, it's always dirty. In the in the part, that's <laughs> yeah, like I don't you know what you're out. talking about. Okay, you like if you stretch it out, it's been sitting in the spring yeah. so long that it gets these lines. Like if you stretch it up, you see the line. I wanted to, if I could have took a shit off and then did like this, I would show you the black. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Like the, <laughs> it's like fake jeans sometimes. Yeah, it's got the. I know what you're talking about. And it you stretch them out. The rich. <laughs> yeah, because the the soap can't get into that ridge. The hey, what? That, I mean, that's just too much. But okay, so now what? What was I saying? What were we? Oh, oh, Doctor Dre. I thought you that talking was about that's some ill shit you just said. Wait, you talking about the ridge stretchy pants that the women wear? Yeah, I don't know where you find you said them when anymore. You wash them, when you wash them, the soap can't get into the ridges. No, you gotta have to stretch it out and clean it. And you can't go in the wash machine and well, stretch it out do while it's women clean. Women don't do that, huh? They think it's just clean like that. Yeah, because you never, they never stretch it out. <laughs> they Yo. never, you never stretch it out. You just put them on. You gotta test your women now. <laughs> they clean if you got a women that wear them shits, you need to get rid. Of, I don't even know where to get them pants. <laughs> now women wear them shits. She had a wood chipper in the back pocket. That's how big the pockets was. She had one of them uh, hand saws. <laughs> but yo, she was, did she say that? The, she didn't say it like she thought she was sexy. I know that. She black? No. White lady? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> she said, I'm, she said, oh, Lawrence, you can, she ain't saying I'm sorry you caught me. That's what she should have said. Nah, she she said, wasn't sorry. She said, you caught me in my bending down, picking up, uh, pulling out the weeds um, position. Mm. I said, I can't wait for snow. She said, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? Yeah, because you <laughs> said, can't, I, can't I will never snow. see you like that. <laughs> you, huh? said, you, you didn't say nah, that. I didn't say that. I wanted to say, I wanted to say, <laughs> I, wanted to say I, said, I can't wait till it's snow, you motherfucker. Oh, wow. <laughs> Either <laughs> that or somebody put some acid in my eyes. Please do something. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Dr. J's daughter. Shout out to her. Shout out to Dr. J's daughter. Shout out to Dr. Dr. J's oldest daughter. You know her name? I forgot. <laughs> I had it written down. Fuck that homeless know. bitch, right? Yo, listen. <laughs> Dr. J's oldest I had it written daughter. down and I forgot. But she says, she says something. She says a lot of interesting things. You got to listen with a third eye. Listen. Mm-hmm. Dr. Dre's oldest daughter, Latanya Young, says she's homeless living out of her car. Latanya Young, who works for DoorDash and Uber Eats as a delivery driver, says in an interview that she hasn't received money from the Beach founder in a year and a half. So she was, he was giving her money up to a year and a half, right? Mm -hmm. My kids are staying with friends. They are not living in the car. It's just me. Young as a single mother of four children. Now, let's stop right there for a second. Why are you saying that you're the single mother of four children? Whose fault is that? That's, not, that's her father's fault or her fault? It's her fault. I thought you, I thought you, it, it took you too long to answer. <laughs> Shit. Dr. Dre, I'm like, I got Dr. the TikTok, Dre TikTok. Has been having a rough ass two years. No, all right, let's take it in steps. Take it in steps. So she's a single mother of four. That's mm -hmm. her fault. Yes. Now, let's go on. Latanya is Dr. Dre's daughter with Lisa Johnson. He left her when Tanya was five years old. Mm. She also claims he wasn't seen, seen. She hasn't seen him in 18 years. 
she communicates through his team. So I guess the money comes, I don't know, cash out, whatever. She fears losing her rental suburban. That's $2,300 for the three weeks. Whose fault is that? Hers. Okay. She said he stopped paying because he was talking. She was talking to the press. Like she is now. Whose fault is that? Hers. I didn't think you was going to answer like this. <laughs> I have nothing Why would to go I say against. It's his fault? Huh? Why would I say it's his fault? That's what she's, this is her talking about Dr. Dre. She says her mom should be getting 300000 a month like his ex-wife Nicole was getting. Oh, wow. Her mother. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. Now, I think Dr. J should be, he's a billionaire. He, she shouldn't be in the situation she know, is. This girl, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, that's man. true. But yeah, I don't know. In a way, I did feel more. sorry for her. In a, in a way, I ain't going to act like I'm cold-hearted, but I did feel sorry for her in a way. But, but at the same time, you're working at Uber Eats. You're doing DoorDash. You're doing just like any other girl. Why should you? You in a situation, some of that situation is because of your, your own fault. You know what I'm saying? You admitted it. It's true. You know? It's an entitlement. Four kids. I understand it's an it's an entitlement thing. I know I, I dated How you a got woman. four kids? Listen, listen. I dated a woman. I dated a woman. She had two kids. Mm -hmm. Her father was very like famous and official. Her father was famous? Father was famous and official, very famous mm -hmm. and official. And I, I was dating him. We were just talking, you know, whatever. Yeah. And buy a TV, so let me go there. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of that shit. <laughs> and she and if you'd have kept I, talking, I would have stopped. What I what I grew to see, right, through that mm -hmm. shit, is that she felt entitled to certain things because of who her father was. Oh, okay. And because and that's, of that's the natural. way, because of her upbringing, it's yeah. like you, it's like you, like, yo, my father, like, even though the difference between you and her is your father was not broke, but you ain't not work. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Like, know with her is, with her is, her father was never broke, but she. Wait, my father was never broke neither. Bro. No, but I'm saying, I'm talking to her, to her now. Okay, but she don't put. She never put work in for herself. So yeah, she yeah, yeah. She don't know. She's the lazy. Value. Lazy. Yeah, she don't know the value. Yeah. of like money. Yeah, great woman, amazing mother to her children, but her sense and work ethic, like she could. She runs. My a father business. used to admire me. Working. She runs a business and she does all that shit. Mm -hmm. But at some point, like you gotta like if your business is not sustaining your lifestyle, you're gonna have to do something else. Oh no, do. yeah, no, no. What they do is they got but they don't want to do that. They want they think because my business is this, I'm gonna work for me and then I'm gonna be the best. Yeah, thing. because like, because yeah, but you gotta really work. Like this is life. You gotta really yeah, work. but they but they 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 feel like the father, and I can understand that the father is a cushion. So I could just play around with this little boutique. Now, she know her father, her father stopped being a cushion a long time ago. No, 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 I'm saying. And that's but where she, the resentment comes in, Shingle. Of course. Because her father got other kids, did the, like all, same shit Dr. Dre. Yeah. Other kids did this, did that. And then I was like, yo, you the oldest. Like, you should have been had, like, you should have been had your shit together. They have, they have kids. People don't talk about this, <clears throat> but they have kids that are or, 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 you know, uh, descendants or, or fathers and parents that are successful. Mm -hmm. And there are kids that are jealous of that success of their parents. Most kids be like, man, she hit. I'm, I'm going to do all my best to get a good side. You know what I'm saying? That shit. My parents is lit. They popping. But there's some kids that will get jealous of them. So they got anger towards one, them. I'll give you one better. Yeah, you listening. I'll give you one better. She was going through some shit where Wait, I, I'm talking about the same topic you're talking about. Okay. She was going through some shit where the other kids, because the nigga who's famous, the famous nigga, he don't take I care. I forgot you said he was famous. He don't really take care of none of the kids. He take care of like the new kids, the newest ones he got. Oh, he's a no good dude. Yeah, he's yeah. a fucking crazy dude. Yeah. But it would be the other kids being jealous that she 
the oldest, the 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 older kid is doing okay yeah. by herself without him. And they don't get, they're both not getting anything from him. So they're like, oh, so then they're fighting over him, but he don't give a shit about none of them. And they're fighting with each other. And they're jealous of her because she one step ahead of them. Uh, yeah. I understand. It's These crazy. are all natural feelings. But you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta put these feelings in check. And, yeah. and, and I see shit like forward. that. I walked away. I was like, man, you're a great person. <laughs> I can't do this shit. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's gonna look at. Because after a while, after a while, you gonna be her father. Oh, you hell, come out. That's, she, a, that's how it started. She, that's what it started. To, like she want. Like yeah. you know me. I'm not the nick. Like no. Yo, no. let's show my. Yo, can you show my father? Oh, uh, no. I, I don't need him. I no. wanted a goddamn 85 inch, and he wouldn't buy it for me. No. It's just certain shit. Like when a woman tell you, "Man, I'm used to da da." What? What'd you say? You talking about TV, stupid ass? It's like it's like it's like I wasn't gonna say that. It's like when a woman go, "Man, I'm used to I'm used to going to da 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 or doing this and this." Like, yeah, yeah. Who cares about that? And why is it? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Why is it broke motherfuckers that want the name brand shit? Because they don't know the value of a dollar. Yo, it's 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 crazy. Do you know that Hennessy, the man that hold that I don't even have it written down. I don't have it written down. The man that sold that that owns Hennessy brand, um, uh-huh. I think Gucci. I'm, I'm peeking out of turn. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, not Gucci. Louis Vuitton. Victoria's Secret. Yes, he's the richest. Yeah. Man in the world now above Je- Jeff Bezos. Oh yeah, and and Don't be a man. And and let me let me just let me just that's say, what they say the Illuminati is. But let me just say this. Let me say this. Say this. They say all that Illuminati. People say Illuminati because they can't get no money like them. If where can I join the Illuminati? If if I can get money like that, I'll join. Wouldn't you? Why not? You could get money like that. You gotta sacrifice some fucking. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm not doing all that shit. Shit. I don't think. Listen. Listen. Hold on. Listen. Can you take a break? I gotta take a piss. Okay, that's the part of COVID. I know no god that they got a (laughs) piss out. You know me. I could. I could usually go, but I can't go. I can't take it no more. Yo, man. Listen. Just stick. You just stick. I have to pee sitting down. I do. You st- stuff like that will play mental tricks on you. They give you so much shit, man. And take it, please take it. Hey, listen, listen. Let me ask you. Let me yeah. ask you another question. What's that? That's why. <clears throat> oh wow, they got you monitored. That's why. It's actually pretty good, though. Yeah, good. I'm above average right now. Good, good. Listen, and let's stay there. Pray, pray. Listen. Um, just think about getting a shot after this is over. Would you do that? I told you. It just got to be. You got to give me a second. How long? How long? No, just come on. Come on. How long? When are you going to get the shot? Can you get it on my birthday, August 16th? Can you give me a birthday present? I'm going to still be in quarantine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you do it on my next birthday, the next year? <laughs> It'll be before that. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now, listen, let me ask you a question. I think he's doing too much. Oh. Kanye West oh, yeah. is apparently moving to a different stadium to finish the album. Yo, Yo he's taking himself. I love Kanye and I understand the marketing and and all that, but I'm starting to think he's a little nervous about the reception I think, of how they're going to receive his I album. He's stalling his ass off. Why? Why? That's the question. Waiting for Drake so he can Ooh. drop when he drops. Ooh. <laughs> no, I don't think he wants to drop when Drake drops. No, I think he, otherwise he would have dropped already. Like this week, he didn't drop because Nas. 
You, I didn't think of that either. He probably didn't drop because of Nas. You know, give Nas some respect. And then, oh, you saying it like that? I thought you were saying like he's nervous of Nas. I don't not think Con- I don't look at Kanye like that on this album. It's something about is something th- making me think he's nervous. I don't know why. You you think the other way, like I'm gonna give him a break, let him come out. I don't know. And I love Kanye. And I told you that Kim was gonna go back to him. Didn't I tell you that? Did they go back? No, she didn't go back yet. But she said I miss <laughs> him. I love him. Yeah, because he, he sustains his popularity regardless of your dumb ass. No, and he was smart enough. No, that's what it is. Shepard. No, yeah, but give him credit. He was smart enough to give up four or five kids, how many kids they got. And and when, once you give a woman that many kids, it's something about having that many kids. They coming back. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't, carry, she didn't carry all those kids. She didn't what? She didn't carry all those kids. They what do you mean? They did sur- sur- surrogates. Surrogates? Yeah, where you take the sperm and the egg, put it in a different woman. That's not surrogates. surrogates. That's, that's um, insemination. No. A, 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 where somebody else carries your child for you? Like, that's yeah, your child. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a surrogate. Yeah. She had a surrogate. Yeah. But you said that you, they they put like something like it was an intravenous thing. Yeah, surrogate. but you're saying when somebody has that many kids, they technically, they didn't really have the kids. To me, I don't know. Okay, let me. To let me, me ask you. I don't like after now being during pregnancy, dealing with the woman that is having my child. Yeah, I understand. I think like to put it in somebody else, that don't. It's not the same. All right, so let it me. Wouldn't ask you it wouldn't be the same. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Kanye West <clears throat> works. I don't know wherever on a construction site. Um. Kim Kardashian, um, I don't know, she works at at at, at a nursing uh, nursing home, okay. right? They got five kids, four kids. How many kids they got? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he 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 he's fucking up, and she wants to leave him. Okay. She leaves him. Yeah. What's the chances of her going back? 95 percent. There you go. It's the same thing with money. It's the same thing with money. Women, women are habits, uh habits of uh, they're creatures of the habit. I don't know why once a true. man gives you four and five kids. Now th- take that, take DJ Envy. Now I could be wrong. Seriously, I wasn't gonna bring this up, but it it, it I think about it on om- almost every day. I think I could be wrong, but I'm never wrong. I think he gave his wife all of those kids because he was trying to make up for his discretions with what's the knock knee girl that go with Safari? What's her name? Erica Mena? Erica Mania. Could I, am I wrong? You think I'm wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I think about it constantly. I go, wow. God damn, he, he having another baby now. All right, congratulations. Don't, oh, come on. Con- I definitely congratulations and bless everybody. I'm not, I'm just talking because it's some stuff that I observe. I don't say it's bad or good. I don't know. I'm just asking questions. <coughs> Oh God! Oh, my bad. It's going now. <laughs> Yo, you gotta stop, man. I got COVID, and it got little legs on it too. You know that, right? Oh God! Ah. I get that one out of there. Oof! <clears throat> Hell! Oh, Jesse! <laughs> you gotta call Jesse. I don't think she's here. We going to Great Adventure tomorrow. She ain't got her feet done. We going to Great Adventure tomorrow. Yeah, Hurricane Harbor. Is that great adventure too? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Hurricane Harbor. I loved it. We had we went last week. Me, my son, my wife, and um my daughter didn't come. But um yeah. Oh, oh, and it's another shot Kanye took. You all right? Listen. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Go all right. Listen. 
All right, let me just give you a little chronicle thing. Going back to Kanye. I don't know <laughs> where we went, drifted off to something else. But the album Donald was initially supposed to drop. Oh, that's right. You were very, we talked about why he delayed it. Just don't talk about that. Initially to drop on July 23rd and again on August 6th. It appears now that it's August 15th, day before my birthday. And I'm not 60. I'm 59. <laughs> oh, God. What happened? Space goes, what happened? Tom. Huh? Time. <laughs> Time waits for no one. <laughs> 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 time, time is you know ain't that funny how time is your friend then it's not <laughs> okay listen i don't know when time is it <laughs> what crazy, man. huh i want to slow down slow down time. you bet you, you bet that COVID gonna have you slowing down no nah. and hope it don't put you to a stop the next time i know it's not that's why i'm joking but i'm saying please get this shot please Ooh, relax. can you can you give me some of my birthday what you want? To you to get the shot. I can't get it right now. I'm in right, quarantine. Right. After you get quarantine, can you get the shot? I'll, I get, I'll take a late birthday you. gift. I already told you. I will. You got to wait. Huh. When I want my birthday gift, man. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. I hope you get it. I know you will. You smart guy. Now, have you ever heard of a rapper called KC? K Y S Y K A Y C Y Y. He's on the crazy. album. He's helping him with this album. That's what it says. He's working closely with uh, uh, Ye on the Donda project. Jumped on his Twitter and announced that he and Kanye and many others are moving to another stadium to finish the album. Now here comes the dig. Here comes the dig. Atlanta on- gave Kanye the key to the city. You know that, right? Huh? Didn't Atlanta give Kanye like the key to the city? Yep. And and Dipset got the I'm not Dipset. Um wow. um what's the name of that group? The Locks got the uh, uh key to Yonkers. Yes. Well, that shit is crazy. What did they do? Did they come out after? Like, how did they what did Dipset do? Have you seen any response? Dipset? Yeah. No, I only seen Jim uh talk about. They know they fucked up. I seen them doing a couple of skits with Flip. Only seen, only seen who? Jim? Jim Jones did a skit with Flip. Recently? New one? Yeah. Right by where my, where my sister-in-law used to live. Yeah. I'll say, yo, Jesse, that's what we're, that's what we're your sister Damn, that's used what to live. The versus this. <laughs> huh? Oh, God. <laughs> this is where we become. Right, shout the Flip. Shout the Flip. Shout the Flip, man. Nigga, we can joke. Jim, Jim, honestly, Jim Jones and Flip's mother have a long history together, so, like of doing work in the community. Say, say. Oh, okay. That's good. That's what's up. Good. Jim Jones, okay. yeah. yeah. Shout the Flip. But, but we can joke. Wait, wait, when we can't joke, we're going to become a joke. You know? Mm-hmm. So listen. So, um, anyway. I always wondered after that because they were so cocky Mm -hmm. before. You understand? Oh, you may get some sleep. No, um, (laughs) oh, oh, um, oh, what did he say? Um, Jim Jones, who house is this? He was talking about some old rap record. Oh, um, what's his name with the head? Um, LL Cool J, (laughs) right? Yo, do you see his head on Town Two? Shampoo. (laughs) <laughs> no, please Stick do me a topic. favor. Just please, just do me one favor. Go to that show that he's on and try not to look at his head. <laughs> That's a game. Try not to look Damn, at him. That was you. Head. <laughs> how you how you feel about this? How you feel about this? <laughs> Yo, did you see? This? Did you wait, see wait. the guy? Wait, wait, wait. Did you see the guy know. they interviewed for Amazon and he rang LL's uh, 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 house and he said, are you the head of the household? <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, my God. This guy, man. Woo, man. <laughs> okay, what you, you okay? You okay? Yeah. Right. I could see him. How you feel about this? The, <laughs> there was a guy, there was a guy on a plane. Mm-hmm. 
who was upset about wearing a mask or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he allegedly tried to assault the flight attendant. Yeah, yeah, that's all another story. Then the flight attendants duct taped him to his chair. He's suing. The, the flight attendants got suspended today. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to sue. Who, who, who's in the wrong? They were in the wrong. No, Why? no, wait. Well, you could you could plead a case that they were in the right because they were trying to save a life. I, I, I go with they were right. They were in the right. Mm-hmm. I go with that because you're on a plane, so mm-hmm. you can't really call the police. You can't. You have to take the law in your own hand. Like you know what I'm talking about. It's a it's an emergency situation. I mean, there's flight marshals on the plane. Always, it's always a flight marshal. Oh, I didn't know that. If there's a flight marshal, then he gonna get some money. They suspended them for a reason, and that's to know. say they suspended them because they knew a pending lawsuit was gonna come for false imprisonment and all kind of stuff. So that's it. I know that story. So I didn't really know which part. I I didn't know. Like they're both right in a way. They both got arguments. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going. I wasn't assaulting her. Oh, she thinks she's so fine that she's uh, maybe uh, assaulting her. I I didn't do nothing to her. There was a sexual assault or assault. There was a guy. Oh. Oh man. (laughs) <laughs> I don't like that call. Okay, if you didn't tell me you have COVID, I'd be like, oh, okay. You got a call button? There's a mute button. Ooh, on that nigga perfect. Do I got one? Let me see. Let me try mine. Let me see if I got a mute button. <clears throat> Wait, man, I want to see if I got a mute button. I wasn't coughing until you fucking came here. No, Making me laugh and shit. Oh, I got one. Yo. <coughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You got you heard me? Oh, yeah, I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I pressed the mute button. It don't work. Anyway, yeah, I don't have you a don't mute know, button. You don't know how to use this shit. Maybe I obviously I don't. Oh, let me try this one. Let me try this one. Yo, I can hear you still. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's why when I just call, I just <laughs> how you feel about how you feel about there's 11 LGBTQ plus organizations that now want to help educate the baby. For the shit that he said. There's um, oh, oh, you know, that's, you know, that stuff he it goes to what you. It goes to you. Oh, you frozen, man. You. All roads leads to you. To avoid all of this stuff. <laughs> right? To, to me, to avoid looking at them niggas in front of the store. I don't go in the store. For you to stop to telling people how to take your temperature and what you got over there is to take the shot. Little baby, the baby. Do, do he don't have to uh, transgenders don't have to uh, come to his house and have dinner with you? Then they do the, then shut the fuck up and, and rap, making millions. Stop! Stop! Now that's how I feel. If okay. you don't want to be. Succumb to the now. If he really is, is really sorry about what he did, mm-hmm. that's that's even better. But he, if he has to pretend like he's sorry and 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 have the transgenders apologize, and he sit there, you know what I'm saying, with the million dollar teeth he got. Boy, that guy got some teeth, y'all. So so if he has to do that, then that's worse. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear me talking about gays and talking bashing. Come on, man. I got too much in the tank for that. I went to the gay parade on Sham in the streets. You did. You did. That's right. I love the gays. We had a great time. Yeah. You love the gays? Uh, love is a strong word. A strong word that they deserve. Say it. I don't have no issues with gay people. 
I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But listen, you did each his own is what I say. There you go. You can't you can't tell who you're gonna fall in love with. Yes. Sometimes you can. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> oh, but I just want to go back to Kanye real quick. This is a little stab. At the United States, the song, he got a song, Hurricane, off of Donda, okay. of the album, featuring The Weeknd and Lil Baby. It's on track two of the album. You can only get it on select international streaming services like Japan's Line and Russia's Yandex. The album's not even out. But the single Hurricane... You can only stream it from Russia, Russia's streaming service, and Japan's streaming service. Why did he do that? This is an That's, idiot, man. Get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. If you're going to put the album out, just put the fucking album out. No, now he put a crazy. single out and let Russia citizens, I would our enemies, I, our enemies. I would have respected it more. Mm-hmm. If you don't just, even see the significance no, of what no, I just no, said. He didn't do it right. I would have respected this more. If he just put it out when he said he was gonna put it out, yeah, right? of course. That's Wait, listen, listen, story. listen. Mm-hmm. And then if he want to update it as he went along, cool. And every week it's a new update to the album. I would have respected that. Yeah, if he did fired. what? Say it again. If he put it out, put the right? albums out. Yeah, albums out. Yeah, right? yeah. you hear it, whatever. Yeah. And then next week, like you still see him in the stadium and shit. And then next Friday, boom, album is still out. But we updated it. Go back to the streaming. It's 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 different. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but that be that be saying that. Fire. That fire. be saying that the album is out. But I don't I don't I don't like the reception of it. So I'm gonna change it. No, because he added he added the locks. He added J Electronica. Like he added shit. the locks is on the new album. Yeah, the, this last Friday when he did the little Atlanta thing. No, I mean like two Fridays ago when mm-hmm. he did the Atlanta thing. The locks wasn't on there. Then Friday, this Friday, the locks is on there. Oh, because after the verses. Yeah, he flew him out there to do do a thing on a, on, a, on the album. After the verses. Yeah, it's right after. The wow, day after. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yo. So if you hear that, like, oh, he got the locks on the album now and you can listen to it. So style. So like he switched so it. We- so we might, we we could, we we don't know yet. We don't know yet, but we could see Styles P and and what's that other guy's name? Luke. Um. Um. I, I got his name. Luke. Luke I just like to see you fuck it up. I know, but I don't know his name. Seek Luke. Seek Luke. We might see them with jewelry after this shit, nigga. They have jewelry, shampoo. I just boys. I just I kid. I, kid. I ain't gonna and I ain't kidding shit. I ain't gonna let this motherfucker uh Jada just come out there with all that shit on his neck. I ain't got nothing on. I'm not doing it. Styles P is a vegan and lives a life. I don't of care. Fucking, I'm not doing it. He's like Dr. Devon. To be honest, Styles P is like Dr. Devon. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing I'm it. I'm telling you, Styles P is like Dr. Devon. He would have came out with lemons on his neck and garlic. Oh. I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> they destroyed them. No, all jokes aside, they destroyed them. The greens was off. The same color the hat was off from the jacket, from the I mean, from the shirt. And the sneakers was off for the shirt. It was like it was it was like a sandwich full of different greens. <laughs> he should have came out there with some collar greens on his neck. <laughs> Nah, man, I enjoyed it. Do you have pervert news? No. Okay. Let me ask you one more question. What? Uh, do, uh, Styles P head or or LL said <laughs> Don't you want to see them together together again? Big bowling ball. Yeah, I can't with you, man. <laughs> Yo, niggas' heads look crazy. I can't with you. I can't. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the Styles P took off his head. I said, oh, he got a unicorn. You know them heads that it's it's some of it's back here. Mm-hmm. And it comes up 
<laughs> See, we can laugh because our heads are in proportion. <laughs> oh my anyway. god. I feel I know my head is not in proportion. Let me just it is take I have it like I have yeah, I got a bald flat, head. Be I got perfect. a flat oh, head. Now let me ask you another I didn't, question. I didn't even get enough tummy time when I was. Let a me baby. ask you another question. And we love Cameron. Oh, Trust man. me, I know I do. He's do you over. think <laughs> yeah. come on? This is serious. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do you think his hairline is way is back too much? <laughs> this <shit is> like... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> enough's enough. Let it go. <laughs> the nigga, the nigga, I saw him getting a haircut, and the guy was on a step. <laughs> stop, it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> you know how you put the booster chair for the kids? The guy had a ladder, a step ladder, so he could come on the top. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm just kidding. I mean, fuck that. We the kids. Shit. Anyway, what you saying? You have pervert news. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that it's getting worse, man. I thought it was ease up. I got pervert news. You all see? It's too much. It's you too want much. Pervert ah. You want me to go first? Hey, go. You got pervert news? Uh, something happened? Uh, a news story or what? Coco, Ice T's, Ice T's wife. Yeah. Oh man, that's bad. Is still Coco. breastfeeding her five-year-old daughter. Mm. Mm-mm. That ain't no motherfucking pervert news. That is pervert news, man. That baby look just like Ice T. Why did they report that? Because it's pervert news. Because <laughs> it, it doesn't seem right. I don't see no problem with it. You don't see no problem with a five year old kid breastfeeding. At least you ain't drown them. You see the big them big titties on them. <laughs> Just drown you and shit. You see them guys in the elevator. Underwater, damn near your head was under almost underwater. Oh, yeah, I, did see that. I saw that in the hospital. Yo, I saw that in the hospital. It was crazy. Yo, the water just came because they were they showed the clip. Was there was like, no oh, water. In some, they got lawsuit because that dude on who took no, the video. No, that's an act of God. There's no lawsuit. That dude on the video was like, yeah, like he looked. Yeah, because like that's the flood. Like, God, you can't sue God. <laughs> Shit. Shit. That's the flood. Yeah, they were stuck no in the lawsuit. elevator. Where'd the water come from? From God, he put the floods. <laughs> no, it was God. in New York. It didn't rain yesterday. What you said? The floods was in New York. Didn't that happen in New York? No, it was in Colorado. Oh, oh. I think it was in Colorado. What did it happen in New York? No, that was in the Bronx somewhere. No, no, <laughs> no, it was in Idaho, somewhere Colorado. I think it was in Colorado. It was a flood, and it was a, a woman, a girl, and a guy in the elevator. It was up to their neck. And uh, like five, two minutes before that, before they got on the elevator, there was no North, water there. North Carolina. It was in North Carolina? Oh, wait, hold on. No, oh, Colorado. Oh, it's on every fucking news station. Jesus. Yeah, no, it had a lot of floods, places. But this was severe. Hold on, hold on. Let me see that. Niggas' houses were getting washed down. This is on every fucking news thing. Wait, just put elevator. I think Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, that's where it was. Home Omaha. of the sausage. <laughs> it's in Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, that's where they make good sausages and, and uh, meats and steaks. Woo, nigga, you get them good steaks from Omaha. Dramatic They got a sale on them shits now because the clouds, the, the cows is flooded. <laughs> anyway, right. pervert news. Right. Music teacher arrested in Westchester County for having students pose in high heels, police say. They arrested Stanley Indig. The names of these people. Indig, age 67 of Brewster, New York. Sergeant William Lugo said they received a phone call from a parent who hired Indig to give private lessons, music lessons, to his daughters, to their daughters to his daughters. Mm-hmm. It was alleged that the teacher would have the girls pose in high heels as he recorded them with his cell phone. That I mean, nigga, that's, that's pervert news. That nigga looks crazy. You see him? Oh, you got the picture? Oh, that's why I sent you the picture. He looks No, crazy. I see it. I looked it up. Yo. He them glasses was... all smudged up. You know what that smudge is? What's wrong with his neck? 
Yo. You know what I want to see? His face when he was filming. He probably was like, <laughs> hey, that, that look you got. Yo. All right. They arrested him. Anyway, number two. Passaic man kidnapped, sexually assaulted. Passaic man. It's hard talking with no teeth. Passaic man kidnapped, sexually assaulted. Bloomfield team authorities charge. Eloy Tomei, 32, pulled the victim in his car, drove through Bloomfield, and tell me what this means. Mm -hmm. You would know. And Passaic, New Jersey, then digitally, digitally penetrated her while in his vehicle. I have no idea what that means. Pe digit digitally penetrate them. Digitally? Yeah, can you can you can you Google it digitally? Digitally, digitally, digitally. yeah. Digit, digitally penetrated her. Just put. When digitally. did that term come out? What's I don't know. I, did, I never. Yeah, it was the second time we this said is the that. Second time you said this, and I don't yeah, know what that I still is. Still ain't look it up. This is defined as like you put a phone in us. This is this is defined as non consensual. Manipulation, fondling, or penetration of the volar area by an mm. assailant's finger. Oh, so digital. Yeah. I always think of TVs or electronics. So it's like it's like diddling you, like finger popping a girl, putting a finger in your. But why ass. is it digital coming? Digital. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. What anyway, digital penetration. Um, the prosecutor Camila Valdez. Charged him with sexual assault, kidnapping. So he's been caught. Aggravated uh, criminal sexual contact, criminal constraint, luring a, and in child endangerment. So that's the good news. Is he's oh, look, look. off. Digital penetration, as it sounds, refers to the use of the digits. That is the fingers, the thumbs, or the toes oh. to sexually penetrate the vagina or anus of a person. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oof. The specific definition of digital penetration can be extracted from the border definition of sexual penetration. Jesus Christ. I mean, God, you gonna go to jail for that shit? <clears throat> Prison, not jail. Stick your fingers in somebody. <clears throat> and then lick them later. Oh, anyway, number three. Oh man, come on, man. Mom, I don't know. Mom arrested. Mom arrested after twelve-year-old gives birth. Okay. Finally, somebody getting charged with something that could have been prevented. Oklahoma police arrested Desiree Costenda and the family of uh, Costenda. The family welcomed the child's rapist to her baby shower. 24-year-old Juan Miranda Jara was shocked when he was arrested in July as he accompanied the 12-year-old to the hospital where she delivered birth to their baby. He now faces 12 years in prison. He's caught. They came to the hospital, and he, this motherfucker says, they say, we on, you're on the arrest for impregnating a 12-year-old. And he said, yeah, but her mom said I was cool. What the fuck? But they arrested the mother. You hear that? This is the first time because she uh, allegedly consented to it. Yeah, that's a little nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that All was right. pervert news. Now for the loose lips. This is the loose lips section. The email is in the description. Feel free to send a message. Just make sure it's short and sweet. Short and sweet. All right, this one's from Freeman Ramsey. Short and sweet, like my meat. This one's from Freeman Ramsey. Freeman Ramsey. Shampoo, you act like the black community is a disgrace and it's making you look bad. But yeah. if niggas really <laughs> when did got, I lie? <laughs> but if niggas really got their act together and they became rich landlords and as successful as you. What? Then wouldn't you become jealous? There is some satisfaction seeing people under. 
<laughs> I do see some type of, <laughs> I do feel some type of satisfaction. It's a good question, good point. But no, I wouldn't be jealous. I would be more proud. Mm. I would be proud because at this point, if I don't know what he's talking about, rich as hell and all that shit, nigga, ain't enough. No, nigga, I want some money. <laughs> but listen, to, uh, um, um, this, I forgot and I can't forget. Would you be jealous if they all became land? Okay, yeah. Woo. Thank you, Street. Food. Even with COVID, you bring me back from the raft. Listen, if they come back, if if damn, I forgot again. Um, okay, if they all become successful, mm -hmm. then I will be proud. I'll be proud of them. I was gonna say something else, but I can't think of it. I would be more proud. I wouldn't be jealous, I'll be proud. But oh, that's oh God! Thank God it came back. When when um it left again. Oh, when it when it when it. Oh, because at this point with the black community, that's how I how I've grown up, is that you always have to hide what you have if it's some type of success. You got to act like you don't have it to fit in. You understand when I used to go to school before I started going to private school, when I was going to public school, I used to have to hide what I had. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah so yeah. that that's something that I, I never could understand why the black community, you had to always dumb yourself down to fit in. Yeah. And so I wouldn't be jealous. I would be proud. All right. This is from Petrie. Good question. Dougal. Good, good, good. This is from Petrie Dougal. Petrie Dougal. Bonjour, Ghost and Crackle Lantern Shammy. Oh, a Frenchman. <laughs> Two questions for both of you guys. If an alien from another planet came to visit Earth and wanted to be introduced to rap slash hip hop, what's one album you would have it listen to? Say it again, because I'm trying. Alien, to if an alien came okay, down alien, to Earth, got you, got you, and they wanted to know about rap and hip hop, mm -hmm. what album would you tell them listen to? Okay, so you want to teach them, trying to stretch it out a little bit, explain it. So you're trying to, you want this is the first thing you want them to hear. Mm -hmm. It's a very good, very good question. I'm saying Midnight Marauders, a tribe called Quest. Midnight Marauder. I don't remember that. I was a big fat child called. I wasn't a big fan, but I used to like them. Um, I think that encompasses like hip hop to me. Yeah, to me. yeah. Um, I take Blueprint Two. That's a good one. That's cool. Yeah, Blueprint Two was. I used to. I still listen to that. Hot. That's hot. That's hot too. Me. That's hot. Yeah. All right. If there was a whack rapper versus, oh right, why? why Somebody asked this question before. It was always a good question. All right, hold on. I'm not going to read that question. Somebody asked that before. Oh, yeah. Side note, last Tuesday, I had a, cre a crappy day at work. I got home, put on your guy's last episode, and laughed my ass off and felt better. Thank you. See? It's great. We you made me joy. feel better the moment he came on, man. You made me feel better. Me? Yeah, you, man. Man, man, I don't... I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. All right. Shampoo. What's what's a better feeling? This is from Mississippi Billy. Mississippi Billy. Shampoo, what's a better feeling? Watching your kids grow before adolescence or when they realize what it takes to be a parent? You know what's funny thing? Watching them grow up before my eyes makes me sad. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't want them to grow up. I right. want them to always stay forever like my, young. I feel like my dad felt that way today. But felt like what? Like what I just said? Yeah. Like yeah. He was, like he was like he was like ah oh, he's he's a grown man like you know. Yeah. Yeah. I See, like I felt like I that. know shit. And it was like like but you know what? That's my dad, man. Like when I needed him, he was right there, bro. He's, it, the, he's the only person I I know is gonna be like he's there. Wow, you got a fucking good you know what father. I'm yeah, yes, I I'm do. passed out. I don't know. Like I'm like I gotta take a Uber to the hospital. Like I call my dad, he's right there. 
Man, so, hats off to your father. And hats off to all fathers that the that are it's hard to say this shit. That are that is there, that is there when you need. You, you know, when I knew I had diabetes, funny you said that. My father would come to my house before he went to New York in the morning. And he would and I was at my house and I used to always run down the stairs and open the door. They like a little kid, right? I'm grown ass man. But this day I couldn't come down the stairs because I was sluggish, too sluggish. Mm -hmm. And that's when I went to the hospital. I knew something was wrong because I couldn't run down the stairs to greet my father. More importantly, he knew something was wrong. He said, you all right? I said, yeah, I'll talk to you later. And he, yo, when he closed that door, he kept saying, you all right? Because he knew something is not, you know what I mean? It's not normal. Same. Something's different. Something's different. Something different. Boy, I'm you telling you. Something, but if you want to do something different in the bedroom. Man, this motherfucker, he, COVID or not. <laughs> Fuck, go ahead, man. Go! We got Blue Chew, all right? Yes. What is Blue Chew? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead and be ready whenever the opportunity arises. Yep. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you get your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Don't have to go to the doctor's <laughs> office. No awkward conversations. No waiting in line at a pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA. Made in the USA. Blue Chew is made in the USA. And they prepare and ship it direct to your door in a discreet package. So nobody has to know about it but you, all right? So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. We all can. <laughs> and we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free, F R E free, when you use like our promo price. code King at checkout. All you have to do is pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code King, to receive your first month for free. This is bluechew.com for more information and important safety details. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. And I want to thank God for giving Space Go, if he had to have it, a touch of it, to know how it feels. This is a call to all of us, all of us, to get the shot. You Do you honestly think I would tell you Somebody I love out there in TV land to take something that I wouldn't do. I would never. I have enough respect and love for you to tell you the truth. And furthermore, if somebody tells you not to, and let's talk about the people. Farrakhan. Don't go deep. Don't go deep. I'm not going to go deep. Just a couple. Farrakhan. Sean Hannity, uh, Tucker Carlson, all of these people don't take the shot. Don't take the shot. They took it. Farrakhan allegedly. But I know the rest of them can't come to work without taking a shot and then tell you not to. That's the, that's the biggest hip hypocrisy. My thing but anyway. Is, do your okay. research. No, 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 listen, no we listen don't have no time for that shit. Listen, listen, my thing is do your research, take see? care of yourself, stop, see? wait, stop, see? stop, stop, stop Shambu. do your research, take care of yourself, do the proper precautions, and do what's best for you in the end. They did the research for you, take stop, the yeah, shot. Stop, stop, stop forcing, you can't force people. They like, should, they should mandate it. I can't force people. That's, they that's, should. That's they what should. I'm against. I'm against uh, the forcing. I'm not. People. I'm not. I think they should tie motherfuckers down and give them that damn shot. Strap them down. I got you. All right. All right. I love y'all. And that's why I say that. Love is not all kisses, kisses, kisses. Sometimes we got to strap you down. <laughs> <laughs> this is love. A love shot. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Right? Yeah. 
You will right, take I'm it. Let me go lay down, man. Let me go lay down. Okay. All right. Thank you, brother. And thank you. Thank you for um, pulling through and teaching the young people. Man, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. <laughs> and remember, a big shot ain't nothing but a little shot that kept shooting. I love you, Space Ghost. Take care. Peace.